Hello everyone, this is Karen from Periwinkle Journals. I just thought I'd come to you today to tell you how I made this uh, journal cover. It um, measures, let's see, 19 centimetres by seven and a half inches wide and let me see, it's 25 centimetres or nearly 10 inches high. And when I open it out, the spine is about a six centimetre spine or two and a half inch spine, I would say. So uh, it's made out of some uh, scrap fabric, as you can see. And how I start is uh, I just pick the pieces I think will work together. And I cut a piece of calico or muslin approximately the size that I want. I always make it a little bit bigger because you end up having to do some trimming. And then I lay out the pieces until I'm happy with the, the way it looks. And I uh, do some pinning or just a tiny little bit of um, glue stick or something, just a couple of dots in each corner to keep the fabric where I want it. And then I uh, sew it down on the sewing machine to the calico and I've used a zigzag stitch and uh, underneath the um, the fabric is some batting or um, some sort of padded material um, I'm sure you've got some uh, some scraps at home that you could use and then I have put in a layer of card on each side, just some lightweight card, and glued that to the back of the wadding. And then I patched together some of this plain uh, material. It's quite a, a thick um, sort of material. I think these are some pieces I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And I do the same thing. I um, sew them all together and then um, I just uh, lightly glue uh, onto the card and um, maybe a little bit of glue along here along the edge of the card to keep it in place and then um, I carefully sew all around it and it ends up looking like this and then I trim it up to straighten it out and I might just put the tiniest bit of glue along the edge there um, to prevent it fraying too much but I think it will fray and I think it just adds to the to the look of it uh, but I was pleased with the way this turned out and I also had this lovely doily that I have um, just carefully glued in strategic spots on after I had sewn this beautiful um, button on and then I um, very carefully got some cotton that sort of matched and um, just lightly stitch some of these points all the way around to keep all the points down. Um, you can hardly notice it. You can see a tiny little stitch there. I anticipate that this will be a uh, three signature uh, journal. I'll probably do the, the five hole pamphlet stitch that I normally do. I'm not sure what sort of tie I'll have on there yet, but um, I'll update you once I've actually made the journal. Um, I was really inspired by um, uh, Kylie from Paper Daisy Journals um, and also uh, other creators um, that I'll have listed below the video. Um, I get inspired from a lot of different sources. So um, there you go. That's how I, I made that. And I think with the card just in here gives it a little bit of structure and it's not totally floppy but it's not too rigid either um, so a nice rustic cover I think it looks really great with the the button and the, the doily on the front so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you will um, subscribe to my channel and any constructive feedback is always welcome and uh, I hope you have a lovely weekend bye for now